Today it is a case of good news and bad news for small cars. It is August 8, 2013. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Half of 12 small cars tested performed well in front end crash tests conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. So what are the safest small cars and which of those cars actually fared the worst? We've got Russ Rader. He is Senior Vice President of Communications for the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. And he joins us right now from our WSJ Bureau in Washington. Russ, thanks for being here. Thanks. Good, to ha good for you having me, Wendy. Th thank you. Pretty scary stuff seeing these cars run into these poles. We'll get to your testing in just a moment, but let's hit the highlights right now. Which cars yeah. did the best and which ones did the worst? Well, the best performer is the Honda Civic. Both the two-door and four-door models earned the highest rating of good in this tough small overlap frontal test. We also had four acceptable performers, the Dodge Dart, the Ford Focus, the Hyundai Elantra, and the Scion TC. The worst performers in this group earning the lowest rating of poor are the Nissan Sentra and the Kia Forte and Kia Soul. We also had three marginal performers. These are vehicles that earned the uh, second lowest rating. The Volkswagen Beetle and two Chevrolets, the Cruze and the Sonic. All right, and you all on your website, you also have these listed out for people who want to go back and do some additional checking on their own vehicles. Uh, let's walk yeah. through what type of real life scenario you all are trying to mimic, Russ, when you do these crash testing. Right. Well, these, this crash test is based on research that we've done over the last several years looking at uh, the fact that we've had big improvements in how well vehicles protect people in frontal crashes, but we still have almost 9,000 people who are killed in frontal crashes each year. So what are the crash scenarios that people are being seriously injured and killed in? And what we found is that a lot of them, about a quarter of the serious injuries and deaths in frontal crashes are in these small overlap collisions. And that means a crash where just the front corner of the vehicle is involved in the collision. It's catching another vehicle that crosses the center line on a highway or it's a vehicle that's going off the road and hitting a tree or a telephone pole. And when you hit the front corner of the vehicle, you're missing the main crash absorbing structures that are centered in the front end. And all that energy goes right into the occupant compartment where you can have serious deformation, metal pushing back into where the occupant is sitting, a crushing of the safety cage. And that's what we're seeing with the poorest performers. Russ, when you talk about uh, smaller cars performing more poorly than mid-sized cars in general, is that because there's just simply less metal in front of you in the car, or does it actually have something to, or more to do rather, with the design, the interior design of the vehicle? Well, in this test, we're looking at uh, how well vehicles perform uh, uh, compared with their peers. Uh, but the laws of physics haven't been repealed. So if you're riding in a smaller, lighter vehicle, you are inherently getting less protection than you would in a crash in a bigger, heavier one. And that's why it's more important, if you want to buy a small car, that you get one with the best overall crash test ratings. And in terms of what vehicle makers are doing to improve design, particularly with these smaller vehicles, Russ, what can you note for us? Well, the main things that they need to do is improve the protection, the, the uh, strengthening the front structures of the vehicles to handle this kind of crash, strengthening and upgrading the, the safety cage, the occupant compartment. And it's also very important that the seat belts and airbags work together in a crash like this because in a, a crash that's just catching the left corner, the vehicle wants to spin to its right. And that means that the driver is going to move to his left or her left. And you want a frontal airbag that is right there to help catch the driver's head. And you also want a side airbag that deploys and a curtain that extends far enough forward to protect the head from hitting any hard structures inside the vehicle. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate that, Russ. Again, more on your website. Thanks, Thanks so much.